Hey friends, I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today we are talking about goal seven, affordable and clean energy. Sing it, Gregory. Affordable, hey, hey, clean energy, hey, hey. And here to talk about it with us is Broadway lighting designer Natasha Katz. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Nika. Where in the world are you? I'm in, I'm going to do my best to say it, Schavenangen, Holland. And what show are you doing there? A new production of Aida. So everybody get your tickets now for Schavenangen? <laughs> Well done. Holland. Okay, so Natasha, you, you've done the lighting design for events all over the world, obviously, and for, for you've done them for ballet and opera, and of course, you have lit scores of Broadway shows. How many Broadway shows have you done? I actually, I, I don't know exactly. It's over 50. I know I that. Know. I think it's over 60. So I'm going to list them all as fast as I can, but I'm going to throw you a curveball. I'm going to add in there a show you did not light. Pack of Lies, Aren't We All, Honky Tonk Nights, Breaking the Code, Gypsy, The Cemetery Club, Shogun, Peter Pan, Hamlet, Someone Who'll Watch Over Me, A Grand Night for Singing, My Fair Lady, Beauty and the Beast, State Fair, Barrymore, The Scarlet Pimpernel, The Cape Man, Twelfth Night, Ring Around the Moon, Aida, Susicle, Dance of Death, Sweet Smell of Success, Flower Drum Song, Urban Cowboy, Taboo, The Glass Menagerie, The 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, Lennon, Tarzan, The Coast of Utopia, Part 3, Salvage, The Little Mermaid, The Country Girl, Hedda Gabler, Impressionism, The Addams Family, Collected Stories, Elf, Sister Act, Follies, Once, Mike Tyson, Undisputed Truth, Scandalous, Motown, The Glass Menagerie, Again, Aladdin, Skylight, Gigi, An American in Paris, School of Rock, Long Day's Journey into Night, Cats, Dogs, Hello. Dolly, Springsteen on Broadway, Meteor Shower, Frozen, The Prom, Burn This, All My Sons, Frankie and Johnny and the Claire de Lune, Diana, MJ, Almost Famous, Some Like It Hot, Sweeney Todd, and you're doing one this summer called Grey House. But which one of those was Well, you know I'm looking forward to doing the musical of Dogs. I was going to say Cats, but then Natasha Cats did actually light the revival of Cats, but never has lit a show called Dogs. (laughs) Okay, so global goal number seven. Affordable clean energy. Natasha. What exactly is the goal of this goal? It's to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. Sing it, Gregory. Ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. Tell me more about that. Renewable energy solutions are becoming cheaper, more reliable, and more efficient every day. Our current reliance on fossil fuels is unsustainable and harmful to the planet, which is why we have to change the way we produce and consume energy. Implementing clean energy solutions like solar and wind as fast as possible is essential to counter climate change, the biggest threat to our survival. Today, solar generating capacity in the United States powers one in 11 homes. Renewable energy can and should be 95 to 100% of world energy production, ending fossil fuel combustion. Okay, so Natasha, I am talking to you about this goal because the vast majority of the carbon footprint of Broadway shows, like 85 to 95% of our carbon emissions, come from the power needed for the HVAC, the heating and cooling, and of course, those big bright Broadway lights. But we need our Broadway lights. So we just got to figure out how to do them better. One thing that we can be very proud of is that the Broadway Green Alliance helped Broadway to change all of the light bulbs in all of the Broadway marquees to LED bulbs. So across Broadway, all those gorgeous marquees take about two tenths of the power to light that they used to. Well, we've had a huge change in the lighting industry, which will and does help climate change for sure, which is the invention of LED bulbs. And now they're brighter and more powerful. So we're using them in all of our lights, in the robotic lights, in the regular lights, we use them inside of scenery. And the cost saving on top of the fact that it helps our environment has been absolutely incredible. So it's not a small change. It's an enormous change that's taken place in lighting. They've refined these LED lights to look better on actors, to look better on scenery. So they're as good as the as the incandescent lights used to be. They don't emit as much heat. So you don't need as much ah. air conditioning. It's really love- win-win-win. It is. Win. 
that is really hope inducing. I love that. And also here's another way that the lighting equipment for shows and also the sound equipment is uh, sustainable is that it's all most all of it is rented. So when a show closes that equipment and the sound equipment all of it gets lives on to, to light more and more and more and more shows. That's absolutely true Nico. We use them over and over and over again and not only that once we're done with them very often they go on to schools to high schools and to colleges the life of these lights really lasts a really long time now to widen the lens out from our broadway theaters and go global some of the targets of goal seven are the targets to ensure universal access to affordable, reliable, and modern energy services. Lack of access to electricity remains one of the greatest hurdles for people in developing countries, and it continues to keep people around the world from meeting their full potential. Substantially increase the share of renewable energy like solar and wind in the global energy mix. Yes, make the energy we're using cleaner and double the global rate of improvement in energy efficiency so we're needing less energy to do the same things. Enhance international cooperation in providing access to research, technology, and investments in clean energy. That means rich nations need to help poorer economies develop clean energy infrastructure. Yes, we've got to expand and upgrade energy infrastructure and technology for developing countries because today over 1.5 billion people worldwide do not have access to reliable energy. Okay, Natasha, these are big targets. And those of you out there might be wondering what you might possibly be able to do to help. What can I do? We are all seeing the scary reports in the news about how we're likely to pass a dangerous temperature threshold within the next 10 years. But these reports are also saying that we are not doomed if we all act swiftly. If we all just keep doing the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve this goal and save the gosh dang planet. Yes, we can. Of course. You can always find a Goal 9 charity and make a donation, big or small. Switch off your appliances at the socket. Turn off the lights when you're not using them. You heard it here, folks. Lighting designer Natasha Katz is telling you turn off the lights. Also, turn off your air conditioner whenever you can, especially when you're sleeping. Open a window, use a fan. Buy rechargeable electronics and don't use one-use batteries. Don't use multiple devices at the same time and replace fossil fuel appliances with electric ones when you retire them. Use the sun. Install solar panels on your home or join a solar energy community farm and use solar powered electronics. Support local policies to increase access to solar and wind energy. Yes, and this one is super important. We can each do our part and it will all add up but our elected leaders have to agree to decarbonize and prioritize clean energy without delay. So, as always, stay informed and vote. Vote. Vote! All righty. Natasha, as always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! Let's start the clock now. What is your favorite snack to eat when you're in the thick of tech? Chocolate. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school lighting design teacher? AOC. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? Yes, I drink tap water all the time. Also, I'm a born and bred New Yorker, so it's always been tap water for me. If there was a blackout and you were trapped inside a theater, where would you go to feel the most safe? I would go right where the lighting table is. Row H, seat uh, 106. <laughs> so specific. What is the greatest theater city in the world? New York City. It's not Schaffenhofer? <laughs> that comes a close second, Schaffenhofer. Since a revival of a show is basically reusing, recycling, repurposing it, so it's super good for the planet, what show would you want to recycle to design? Uh, almost Famous. Yes! <laughs> Sing Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. Go. No. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Natasha. And thank you for watching, my friends. If you are ever feeling down about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet. More and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. 
Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's all just do the next right thing, and together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.